Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, running for cover is not something we're having to do here at home today, right, Nate? <laughs> Fortunately, no, but yeah, that same area, a lot of the uh, front range of the Rockies expecting to see some severe weather, some violent storms with severe uh, weather or severe thunderstorm watches in effect currently. We've had some thunderstorms. This is an area, southwest Wyoming, that's seen some uh, lightning, heard some thunder. We've had some heavy rains roll through as well. You can still see some of that moisture on this uh, camera overlooking some of the Interstate uh, 80 as you head out into southwest Wyoming. From Enzyme Peak, you can see we've got Got beautiful conditions here across the Wasatch Front. A little bit of haze. We do have ozone that's a little elevated, moderate air quality for much of the Wasatch Front due to ozone and some of the dust that's being blown around with southwest flow that's in place. Wind speed strongest across the southern part of the state. Wind speeds currently showing up at 23 miles an hour for St. George. Cedar City just over 20 mile per hour winds as well. Anywhere from 10 to almost 20 mile per hour winds across the southeast portion as well. So yeah, it could be a bit choppy on Lake Powell with some of those elevated winds. Reason we're seeing increased winds. We have an area of low pressure to the southwest of us, bringing that southerly flow into our area. It's in conjunction with a series of troughs. In fact, there's one up to the north of us as well. We'll start to see that trough to the southwest lift northeast into tomorrow. That will bring slightly cooler temperatures across portions of eastern Nevada, clipping portions of western Utah, but bring a slight chance of moisture before high pressure builds back in temporarily as another trough swings down to the south and west. This one should have less of an impact, uh, I think, later in the week as we get into next week versus this weekend should look pretty nice before that moves in. Precipitation potential again just hugging the far northern areas of Utah tomorrow mainly impacting areas to the north of us in eastern uh, Idaho and southwest Wyoming. Storm threat then encompasses some of northern Utah just a slight chance of non-severe storms as we get into tomorrow afternoon if we time it out for you. Uh, let me back that up just a little bit. Timing it out for you we expect by tomorrow afternoon some of the west desert could see a few showers and thunderstorms storms. A lot of that moisture should dissipate or wane or these storms if they do form by the time they reach the Wasatch Front could just look threatening, but there's still a small chance we could see a, or a slight chance. I should say a storm out there tomorrow evening into uh, early Saturday highs tomorrow 80s and 70s across the Wasatch Front down in southern Utah upper 80s for St. George up to mid 90s on Saturday. So a warm up with those breezy winds sticking around 98 though Sunday. So getting hot into next week, very hot by Thursday, finally hitting 100 degrees will be very close to it early next week, but winds should keep us just from hitting 100 degrees. The Wasatch Front 83 for the high tomorrow, 82 on Saturday, partly cloudy skies. Sunshine Sunday, upper 80s, above average highs into early next week. Usually we're in those mid to upper 80s right now, so nice and warm start, if not getting hot into next week. That next trough will just bring some clouds, slight drop in temperatures into midweek next week. Otherwise, sunshine returning Thursday, upper 80s continues. So feel a little more like summer as we get into next week now that's officially yeah. here. 70s were so nice, but looks they like were. maybe they're gone for a while. They might be gone for a uh, while, yeah. Shoot. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah. Nate. Appreciate that.